Okay, so wonderful good morning everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel presenting before you this wonderful um, tutorial is your mentor Habel Clement. So to those of you that are new, just make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button and also don't forget to share um, the lesson to others so that they may also learn. So we have a very important question under momentum, impulse and collision. And I'll be very quick to explain it. Make sure that you know these questions because um, it's one of those questions that usually uh, most physics uh, past papers that I've seen in different universities, this question is usually asked under momentum, impulse and collision. Those of you that have a question, make sure you inbox me on this WhatsApp line. So, a 90 kg footback running east with a speed of 5 meters per second is tackled by a 95 kg opponent running north with a speed of 3 meters per second. The first question is simply saying, calculate the velocity of the players immediately after the tackle. Determine the mechanical energy that is lost as a result of, of the collision. Where did the lost energy go? So, since Remember, like I said, I was introducing Physics Olympiads where we'll be tackling different questions uh, on each topic. So, like, for example, we started with Momentum, Impulse, and Collision, and I'll start from here. We do quite a lot of questions, so make sure that you follow me so that you won't get behind. I'll be quick. So, uh, I think I've already uh, illustrated the data here. So, let's imagine this is a football. Uh, pitch where footballers are, are playing football then you have I think I've put a scenario here okay you have you have this opponent here this opponent with velocity one moving in this direction and as this person is moving in this direction in the north at a speed of five meters per second they encounter a person who is moving in the north of 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 um 95 kg with a speed of 3 meters per second then they meet at this point then you discover that the ball makes an angle okay makes an angle in the north um the northeast in this direction like this okay but then they are asking us to find they're asking us to find uh the velocity of the players immediately after the tackle so we have the data here we, we we first of all collect the data so we get the mass of the uh, player who was running in the north and that was 90 kg 90 kg then of course we get the velocity his initial velocity which was five meters per second then we also get the mass of the second opponent which was 95 kg and also the velocity which was three kg now of course we know that uh, the ball made some angle theta, of course, in the northeast, and we are told find the final velocity. So the first thing that we do, I'll, I'll show you the formula to use in order for you to find the angle. Okay, so solution. Okay, so let me just say Roman number one. Okay, this is just to find the angle. Now, how do we find the angle? How do we go about finding the angle? Now we know that uh, if we are to use ratios ratios and proportions. We know that if we have, let's say, mass 2, multiplying velocity 2, okay, mass 2 multiplying velocity, then of course this must divide mass 1, velocity 1. Then this must equal to the velocity, the velocity multiplying the, of course, the mass, sine some angle theta over this is velocity but prime some mass cosine the angle theta of course i'm sure you know what i'm doing you just you just uh because you know that this is going to make everything simple you you, you understand then of course since we know that we have two masses so of course we're going to put a m2 v2 over m1 v1 this is going to equal to since we have two masses of course we're going to expand this is going to be mass one 
plus mass 2, then velocity sine the angle theta. Even here, the same thing, it will be mass 1 plus mass 2, the velocity cosine the angle theta. Okay, so now after you do this, you know that this is just going to give you m2 v2 over m1 v1 equal to, of course, this is just tan angle theta. Then, of course, we know that theta will just equal to tan inverse of okay, mass 2. Mass 2 is simply the mass of the opponent, uh, velocity 2, over m1 v1. So, of course, the angle theta must give you... Um, I think I calculated it to be 32.3 degrees. Okay, so make sure that you find the same answer. Okay, make sure that you find the same answer. I will just be solving, giving you the formulas. You'll be putting in the values, then you send so that I see how uh, you guys are going about this. Okay, we have found the angle theta. Now let's find the velocity. So the, to find the velocity, we consider mass 1, velocity 1 equal to mass multiplied by velocity. Of course, we know this is the momentum cos the angle theta. Okay? Like this. Then, of course, we expand this point because we know that we, we, we are involving two, two people, okay? Two opponents. So, of course, this is going to be mass 1, velocity 1, equal to. So, we expand this. This is going to be mass 1 plus mass 2 V cosine the angle theta. When we reach here, we can cancel everything by... We um, want to find the velocity, so it's going to be M1 plus M2 cosine the angle theta over m1 plus m2 cosine the angle theta. Cancel everything here. The velocity is going to equal to mass 1 multiplied by velocity 1 over m1. So it's going to be m1 plus m2 cosine the angle theta. So the, uh, this angle theta that you have found, the angle theta that you have found in here, you just place it here, then of course you know the masses, and this is going to give you your velocity. That's going to give you your velocity. Okay. So now, the third one is asking us to saying determine the mechanical energy that is lost as a result of the collision. The mechanical energy lost as a result of the collision. I think I'll be able to solve it here. So let's name this one as B. I think I've got some enough space. Not, it's, it's not that complicated. So we know that the mechanical energy, remember that in my first session I told you that energy is lost through uh, kinetic energy. So of course, it's the change in kinetic energy Change in kinetic energy is equals to K, KF minus K initial. Of course, the final kinetic energy is simply 1 over 2, MV squared minus 1 over 2, the initial, which was MV squared. But then, of course, we know that the initial is involving two people. They both had their initial uh, velocity and mass. So, of course, we know this is going to be minus, this is just going to be 1 over 2 m1 for the first opponent plus 1 over 2 m2 v2 squared. 
If you place in all the values, of course, you find the mechanical energy in joules. Okay. The third one was asking, where did the lost energy go? Remember in my last tutorial, I think I taught you that when there be a collision, of course, kinetic energy is not the same. It is, of course, if you find this, it will even give you some negative value. It's not the same. Some of it is lost. How? So some lost energy had gone to be okay, thermal energy. It was converted into thermal energy. And sound energy. Remember, if you if you have a collision, someone hit you, someone hit you, you find people shouting, others crying because of the pain. <laughs> energy is lost through that. Okay, so this is how you answer this question. It's very simple. So make sure that you go through, you understand the concepts, and make sure that you understand the scenario. So different questions will be posted this week. Just make sure that you follow up. Thank you so much.